G'day, Chris Betcher here. And in this video, I want to talk to you about scheduled release and rapid release and what the difference is between those two things. So I'll start by going into the company profile here, which is in the uh, Google Administration Console. It's one of the modules. And it will take me into the profile section for setting up a new domain. And to be honest, this is just usually once you set these settings, you tend to leave them uh, set. It's not something you come back and change all that regularly. Uh, if I go into the profile section here, you'll see I, this is where I set up the basic behaviors of my domain, including the name of it, what type of domain it is, your admin account, which is really important. Um, you've also, uh, you can also set uh, a secondary domain, uh, a secondary address, sorry, which is like a recovery email. Please make sure it's in a different domain than your, your main one, otherwise you'll be locked out. Uh, and you can set things like the language and the time zones and all that kind of stuff. But what I'm really interested in this section down the bottom here, rapid release versus scheduled release. And this a somewhat related section down here for new products, automatic and manual. So what actually happens in, uh, in a G Suite domain is Google tends to release new features and new products fairly regularly. Uh, new features more so than new products. Um, and you can decide how you want them to be released. So in terms of new features, so a new feature might be, for example, a um, uh, you know Google Docs gets some new ability or Google Slides gets some new ability or Classroom gets some new feature. You can decide whether you want those new features to be available to your users in existing products either immediately by choosing rapid release or scheduled release will release those features a couple of weeks after launch. And there's a couple of reasons why you might want to hold off. Um, you might need time to train people. You might need time to check out the feature to make sure it's something you actually want. You, uh, you might want to, um, uh, there's a bunch of reasons why you might want to delay that release. You might just be worried about bugs in a new release. Or you can live a little bit dangerously and, and choose rapid release, and then you'll get everything immediately as soon as it comes out. And to be honest, a lot of people want that. They want as soon as the new feature is available, it's usually usually released because it's solving some problem, and therefore people generally want it straight away. But you get the choice, either straight away or you can get it a couple of weeks later. Down the bottom here is a similar kind of thing, but this is not for new features. This is for new products. So if, for example, uh, in the list of products inside uh, G Suite. So you've got Google Docs and Google Slides and Classroom and Meet and you know all these different products. Let's say Google releases a brand new product. You might decide that you don't want that product to be available to your users, uh, in which case you might want to set this to manual. And you will then review the product to see whether it's something that you actually do want to release or not, and you get the choice when it's set to manual. If you have it set to automatic, then those new products will just become available, including whatever defaults they're set to. So uh, it's often a more conservative and probably safer approach to go with manual. That gives you a chance to review a new product when it's released, make sure it meets all the terms of service, make sure it meets copper and FERPA and all those rules that are in place in terms of uh, making sure that things are as they should be. Um, and and you know, if it's inside the G Suite domain, that would generally be the case, of course but you do get the choice. So I just want to point out these settings to you, rapid versus scheduled, which is in terms of new features, and automatic versus manual, which is in terms of new products. And between those two settings, you can decide to uh, be as conservative or as, as adventurous as you like uh, in terms of new products and features coming into G Suite.